Hello. Let's see. So I'm here to teach some vinyasa. I see someone just joined. Okay, cool. So maybe some people will start popping on. Hey. Okay, cool. So we're going to do a vinyasa class. I'm going to do the best that I can to teach from my home. You'll be able to see my mat set up and I'll be doing most of the practice with you for resource um, visually. Real quick, does anyone have any requests for practice? I'll do my best to add that to the flow. Once I get started, I won't be able to see any of your comments as I'll do the practice with you um, and we'll do the best we can. So for practice today, um, if you have things around home that will serve, okay, we got a request for hips. Cool. We'll definitely work on hips. Um, I figured we'll address a lot of the things that might be coming along with less movement and more sitting than usual, although I know we often, a lot of us, sit for work, so it's not too, too different, but maybe you're not seated at a desk, maybe you're lounging on the couch, um, so we'll try to address those sorts of things, and um, if you do have blocks at home, that's excellent. If you have... Um, maybe a box or like a small shoe box or um, water bottle or books you can stack to support you for blocks, that's a great option. Maybe some folded blankets. And I do want you all at least to have something that can serve as a strap. We'll definitely do some shoulder flossing. Um, it's one of my best favorite tools rather for helping to open the shoulders and work on that. So without any further chit chat, let's get started on the mat. Thank you all for joining so far. So again, I'll do some of the practice with you, most of it in fact, and um, hopefully you all can hear me okay. I do have a playlist I've made available on Spotify. If you find me on Spotify, Sarah Rowan, R-O-A-N-E, it's called Vinyasa Live, and I'll play it here too, so hopefully you can hear it, and if not, or you want it louder, you can play it at home with us. So let's we go. So in regular fashion, let's start in um, constructive rest. So on your mat, maybe supported with a blanket if you're on a hard floor underneath, or if you're on a rug, that might not be as necessary. So you'll come with your feet hip width distance. Lie down onto your back. Pigeon toe your toes in towards each other. Let your knees knock together. Take one hand to heart and one hand to belly. Notice if your shoulders are up by your ears and just let them soften down in a way. Sort of snuggling the shoulder blades away from your ears. Let your eyelids gently soften or close. And gently begin to become aware of deepening your breath. Let your breath be really deep, low belly breath. So feel for your hand over your belly, doing most of the movement with your breath. Maybe a little pause between each inhale and exhale. Maybe find 
finding just a little bit of pause or suspension almost between the breaths. here continuing like that to check in with your physical body become aware of your physical experience without any need to judge or change allow yourself to be with exactly how you feel right now With your next inhale, can you acknowledge exactly what you found? And with your exhale, just let it go. One more just like that, full deep breath in, fill all the way up, acknowledge. And with your exhale, let it go. Take a few more breaths right here, full and deep. Ask yourself without any expectation of an answer, just ask, what do I need? Maybe you'll hear an answer, maybe you won't. Keep asking, what do I need? Right here, right now, what is it that I need in this moment? If something comes up for you, can you create that? Can you invite it in with your breath? Maybe it's something specific that's off your mat, and if it is, can you find a way to translate that into an experience on your mat, an intention that will serve your practice? And if nothing comes to mind, I invite you to practice gratitude tonight. Gratitude for your breath. Gratitude for your body. Gratitude for what allows us to connect right here, even as we're in our own space. So whatever your intention is for practice, take one more deep, full breath in. Welcome that in. Feel it enter. And with your exhale, feel it expand. Begin to gently rock your knees side to side. Hands can stay on heart and belly or open wide. Like goalpost arms, begin to gently broaden your chest. Knees really softly going side to side. Little movement through the hip bones, hip sockets. Good, then knees come to center. Bring your knees in towards your chest, little circles around with your knees, but notice your low back. Can you let the circles almost massage out the low back? In the reverse direction. Breath is full and supportive. Full of gratitude, acceptance, and whatever it is that you need tonight, right here, right now. Hug your knees in towards your chest. You can roll to your side, press your way up to your hands, or begin to rock and roll along the length of your spine. Again, a little massage for the spine, muscles that support it. And rock all the way up to a seat. Find your way onto your shin. So toes will be untucked. You'll face forward on your mat. I'll face forward towards you. Grab your strap. You'll take your strap out wide, wider than your shoulders. 
pull the strap taut, making your elbows and wrists straight. The heart lifts, draw your shoulders back, and then notice your belly, drug it, hug it in, <laughs> draw it in, hug it in. Elbows, hands wide. But on an inhale, you're continuing to pull the strap taut, reach up overhead. On your exhale, come back just slightly behind your head. Heart stays lifted. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, the strap comes back down to your left. Good, keep going. Inhale to reach it up. Exhale, come back just slightly more this time. Face is soft. Inhale, arms up. And exhale forward. So keep moving with your breath. Notice if maybe you need to loosen up on the strap or maybe after a while you can tighten up a little. I want you to focus on keeping your breath really smooth to support the movement. Oftentimes in yoga, I see a lot of students holding their breath. So that's something I really want to focus on with you where I can't see you. Notice your breath. Stay with your breath throughout the whole practice. If nothing else, just breathe. Good, keeping the breath steady with the movement. You can keep going just forward and back, just like this, if this feels right. Or an invitation for another variation. So one hand will stay kind of like dead weight. The other one reaches up, inhale, and back on your exhale and then the one that was dead weight will draw you forward inhale and exhale good keep going so it'll be a little bit of like a circle movement forward and back so the same hand is coming forward same hand is coming back and then we'll switch so this just changes up the stretch a little bit heart stays lifted neutral through your spine all right, and then switch back. So the hand that was bringing you forward will now reach back. And of course the opposite. Good, deep full breaths. Continue to pull the strap taut. Elbows and wrists are straight. Good, next time you come forward, the last round will inhale it up. Exhale and come back behind your head just slightly, maybe back by your heart, wherever it feels like the perfect stretch for you. I want you to find that space. This is one of those love-hate stretches for me where it feels so good, but a little bit intense. Try to soften your face, soften your jaw. Take deep, full breaths of gratitude. Next inhale, bring it up, back up overhead. And exhale, forward. Really good. Remove your strap. Come onto your mat. If you have blocks or something that you're using in, in um, place of blocks, place them on either side of your mat at the front. That's way they're there when you need them. We'll come to tabletop. Wrists over, hands up. <laughs> shoulders over your wrists, hips over your knees. Begin to tuck your toes under, get a little bit of a stretch through the bottoms of your feet. Fingers spread nice and wide. From here, inhale for a cow pose. Belly drops, heart lifts, draw your shoulder blades back. Inhale. Exhale to cat pose. Push the ground away, curl chin to chest. Inhale for your cow pose, lengthening out the breath. Exhale, cat pose, push the ground away. Got a few more rounds here. Add in any movement that just feels good for you. Maybe even close your eyes to really feel into your body. What do you need? Feel free to make this organic. Let yourself move freely. Two more breaths. Inhale to a neutral spine. 
Toes are still tucked under. Hug your thighs towards each other, belly draws in. Lift your knees one millimeter off the mat. Fingers spread really wide, press down especially through the L of each hand, the thumb and pointer finger. Notice the knuckle especially of your index finger. Root that down. Deep breath in. With your exhale, down dog. Reach your hips up and back. Good, pedal out your feet a little bit here. Bending one knee and then the other, just slowly, gently waking up the body. And then notice your palms once more. Again, pressing really strong through that knuckle where your pointer finger meets the palm. Palms press down and forward. Invitation for a little bend in your knees so that you can find the length through your spine. Tailbone reaches up and back. Soften your neck, soften your jaw. Two more breaths here. Connect with your intention or again, invite in the gratitude. What are you grateful for? Right here, right now, this moment. Next inhale, come forward to a high plank, shoulders over your wrists. Hug your thighs in, belly in. Try to stack shoulders over wrists, bellies drawn in. One more breath in. Exhale, the down dog, hips reach up and back. Deep, full breaths. Next inhale, come forward, high plank. Strongly push the ground away this time. Actively dome your upper back towards the sky, just like cat pose. Belly draws in. One more breath in. Exhale, down dog. Hips reach up and back. Good. Inhale into tiptoes. On your exhale, baby step all the way to the top. Try to keep your hips nice and high. How light can you be on your toes? And then find a forward fold. Keep feet hip lift. Ragdoll. Really generous bend into your knees. Hands reach for opposite elbows. Let your neck be soft. Gently rock side to side. Maybe bend one knee and straighten the other. Side to side once more. Notice your breath. Take a deep breath in. Sigh it out. Let it go. Good, then find stillness. Notice the weight in your feet. Let the weight come slightly more towards your to toes. Heels stay rooted, but you're letting your spine spill forward towards the ground. Two breaths. Jaw is soft, breath is full. Good, then gently release your palms. Heel toe your feet in hip width distance. Bend into your knees on your inhale. Press your hands to the mat or your shins. Heart reaches forward. Inhale. Exhale to fold. Inhale for a halfway lift. Hands press to shins. Back becomes parallel to the ground. Exhale to fold. Press through your feet. As you roll one vertebrae at a time, all the way up to standing. Go really slow, deep, full breaths. Your head's the last thing to come up. Good, palms come forward on your inhale as you lift to the top, draw shoulders back to Dasana pose. Let your eyelids soften or close. Deep, full breath in. Complete breath out. Connect to your intention, whatever it is that you need. Maybe it's your gratitude. I want you to visualize, see, sense, and feel whatever that is for you. Welcome it in with your inhale. Feel it enter. Feel it expand on your exhale. One more deep, full breath in. See, sense, and feel your intention right here. Full breath out, feel it expand. Let your eyelids open. Inhale, arms out and up, nice and tall. Exhale, hands and in intention to heart center, ground through your feet. Inhale, arms reach out and up, nice and long. Exhale, hands to heart. Good, we're still at the top of the mat. Inhale, arms reach up. 
Exhale, swan dive to fold. Inhale for your halfway lift, hands press to the shins or mat, heart reaches forward. Exhale to fold, step your left foot back. Come down onto your back knee for Anjane Asana. Hands can come onto the thigh to start. Squeeze your right heel and left knee towards each other. Take your hands to your hips. Notice if your hips are level, can you find that? Long through your low back, draw low belly in and then arms to the sky. Anjane Asana or low lunge. Soften your shoulders away from your ears, but lift your heart. Deep, full breath. Right heel and left knee are hugging towards each other. Low belly's in and up. Deep, full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale, strong arms reach up. Exhale, cactus arms. Elbows reach down and back. Heart lifts. Inhale, arms reach up. Lengthen. Exhale, cactus arms and pause. Take your right hand to your hip. I'm gonna to turn to you in case you're not sure what I'm doing. Right hand to your hip. Left arm reaches up and over. Feel for a side body stretch. So keep the back, low back long. Press down through your back knee, front heel, and continue hugging them in as you reach up and out of your waist. Deep, full breath in. Complete breath out. One more inhale here. With your exhale, left hand's gonna come to the inside of your left foot. Low twist, right arm to the sky. Option to pick up your back knee if that feels good. We'll turn back to the front now. Press down through your left hand. Reach your right arm to the sky. Maybe gaze at your right thumb. Good, press through your right heel. Reach your right hip back. One more breath in. With your exhale, right hand comes down. Runner's lunge. Pick up your back knee if you haven't already. Press through your palms, take a deep breath in. Step your right foot back to high plank on your breath out. One inhale here, hug your thighs towards each other. Exhale, down dog, hips reach up and back. Pedal out your feet, two breaths here. Notice your heart rate, notice your breath. Inhale on the tiptoes, gaze forward. With your exhale, bend your knees, take a big step to the top, forward fold. Inhale for a half way lift, heart forward, tailbone back. Again, hands on mat or shins. Exhale, fold. With a flat back inhale, lift all the way to the sky. Arms reach up overhead, maybe palm stuff. Exhale, hands in intention to heart center, ground through your feet. Inhale, arms reach up, climb length. Exhale, swan dive to fold. Inhale, reach your heart forward, half way lift. Exhale, forward fold, step your right foot back this time. Back knee comes down for Anjane Asana. Hands can start at your thigh. I want you to actively press down through your front heel, right knee, hug them towards each other. From there, take your hands to your hips, feel for levelness in your hips. Long through your low back and low belly draws in and up. From there, arms up overhead. Three breaths. Continue to hug right knee towards your left heel. Lengthen your low back and draw up through your spine. Good, one more breath in. Exhale, cactus arms, elbows reach down and back, heart lift. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, cactus arms. Good, pause here, left hand comes to your hip. Right arm reaches up and over. For some of us, maybe left hand will come down to the floor. Or maybe left hand to a block. Or maybe it stays right at your hips. Continue to hug in between your thighs. Long low back, deep breath in. Exhale to your low twist, right hand to the ground, left arm to the sky. And again, you can stay here or maybe pick up your back knee. Either way, pressing palms away from each other. Feeling for the twist coming from your spine rather than letting your right hip drop. Press through your left heel, reach your left hip back. One more breath in. Exhale, left hand comes down, runner's lunge. Pick up your back knee if you haven't already. Deep full breath in. Exhale the high plank on your breath out. Deep inhale here, strong belly. As you exhale, elbows reach back, lower halfway. Inhale back up. 
Exhale, really slow, lower down to your belly. So this is one of my favorite variations, Funky Cobra. Take your hands wider than your mat. Up on your fingertips, elbows reach to the sky. On an inhale, lift your chest, shoulder blades draw together. Exhale, chest comes down. Keep going, inhale to lift it. Lifting up and out of your waist. Back legs are strong, pressing down into the ground. Exhale, chest comes down. Got a little variation. Inhale to lift your chin. Exhale as you gaze left, right shoulder drops. Inhale back to center. Exhale, gaze right, left shoulder drops. Let's do that again. Inhale to center. Exhale, gaze left, right shoulder drops. Inhale to center. Exhale, gaze right, left shoulder drops. Legs are active. Inhale back to center. Exhale, chest comes down. Hands underneath your shoulders. Make your way to down dog and whatever way feels right for you. So maybe you're gonna tuck your toes under, lift your knees. Strongly press the ground away to lift up. Maybe you come to a modified plank or maybe your tabletop. So your way, find down dog. Deep full breath in, full breath out. Inhale on the tiptoes, gaze forward. On your exhale, step or float to the top, forward fold. Inhale for your halfway lift, heart reaches forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, arms stretch to the sky, maybe palms touch. Exhale, hands in intention, heart center. Inhale, arms reach out and up, take up space. Exhale, swan dive forward. Good place to block between your upper inner thighs. If you don't have a block, just take your feet hip width distance or maybe roll up a blanket. You can use the same thing. So we're just looking for some activation through the inner thighs. Press down through your feet, find chair pose. Hands reach up overhead, mostly in line with your ears. If your shoulders are up by your ears, let them soften down. Reach back through your thumbs, palms are active. Peek down at your toes, can you see them? If not, reach your hips back until your knees let you see the toes. Then lift your head if you've dropped your chest. Good, hug the block or whatever you have between your thighs. Lengthen your low back and draw low belly in. Deep full breath in. Exhale, cactus arms, elbows reach down and back. Inhale, arms reach back to high, chair pose. Exhale, cactus arms. Feel your shoulder blades drop towards your spine. Stay here, take a deep breath in to lengthen. With your exhale, twist to the right, high twist, upright. Arms are parallel to the ground. This is your first option. If it feels right, maybe prayer twist. Palms come together. Maybe bottom hand makes a fist. Right elbow comes to your left thigh. Continue to hug the block between your thighs. Reach your tailbone back. Press through your heels. Whichever variation you're in is perfect. It's all the same. Hug the block. Reach back through your right hip. Press through your heels. Inhale to center. And exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift, heart forward. Exhale, fold. Come back to chair pose, sit your hips down and back. Low belly draws in, heart lifts. Hug the block between your thighs, reach your tailbone back. Press strong through your heels. Good, inhale here. Exhale, cactus arms, pause here. Squeeze your shoulder blades towards your spine. Hug your low ribs in right here. So sometimes people flare out their ribs. I can't see you. So just checking, hug them in. Good. From here, twist to the right. Reach back through your left hip. Again, arms can stay parallel here. Hearts lifted, spines long. Or take your prayer hand variation. Palms together. Maybe bottom hand makes a fist. That's my personal favorite. Reach back through your tailbone, especially your left hip. Hearts long, reaching away from your tailbone, so hearts reaching forward. Maybe gaze up if you're in this variation. If you're still up here, gaze behind you. Go ahead, one more breath in. Full breath out. Inhale back to center. Exhale, rise up. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale back to your chair. You got it. We haven't moved much, I know, so we're gonna keep going here. Press through your heels, hug your blocks in. Take your arms forward, palms to the sky now. Draw your shoulders back. 
lower your hips a little more, press through your heels, bellies in. With control, slowly lower all the way down to your floor, woo! Okay, boat pose. Keep the block between your thighs. First option, toes tap down, hands behind the thighs, hearts lifted. You'll probably want the block in line with your thighs so your belly can come close. This is a really great place to be. You can stay right here. See how light you can make your toes as your heart stays lifted. Good, second option. Lift your toes, feet are active. Press out through the soles of your feet. Again, heart stays lifted. If you find you're sinking back onto your sacrum like this, toes come back down so you can keep your heart lifted. Gotta start from where you are. Good, and if you're here, see how light you can make your fingertips. Maybe arms reach forward, heart stays lifted. This is where I'm at for today, or maybe you can straight both legs. Maybe both arms come up. Keep hugging the block, deep full breath in. Wherever you are, low boat on your breath out. Back bodies just hovering off the mat, low back roots down. Hug your thighs, deep breath in. Exhale back to your high boat, reach up. Inhale here. Exhale, low boat, pause. Inhale here, squeeze the block. Exhale, high boat. Good, one more breath in. Feet come down, remove the block. Hug your hands, hug your thighs. Let your chin drop towards your chest, check in. What's your breath doing? What's your heart rate doing? Can you connect back with your intention or gratitude? What resonates more right here, right now? Connect to it. Deep full breath. Next inhale, lift your chin. Take your hands behind you. So depending on how your shoulders feel, maybe your fingers are gonna point to behind you. Maybe they'll point towards your hips. You're gonna lift your heart. Feet are hip width distance, maybe a little wider. Inhale here. Exhale, press through your feet. Lift your hips. Reverse tabletop. Keep your neck nice and long. So there's a tendency to wanna to drop your head back. I want you to keep your spine long, reaching through the crown of your head. Deep full breath in. And exhale, hips drop down. Cross your ankles, hands come forward, step back to high plank. Deep inhale here. With your exhale, lower halfway, elbows reach back, press strong through your palms. Inhale, reach back up, high plank. Exhale, slowly lower all the way down to your belly. Good locust pose. Take your hands back by your hips, palms towards the floor for today. Feet are active, pressing down into the mat. Lengthen your tailbone, inhale, lift your chest and hands. Reach your fingers back behind you. Notice the back of your neck, keep it nice and long. Inhale, lift a little higher. Exhale, chest comes down. Good hands underneath your shoulders. Either press to a high plank, modified plank or tabletop. We meet back in down dog. Deep full breath in. Complete breath out. Two more right here. Connect with your body, your mind. What do you need and what are you grateful for? Are you willing to meet yourself right where you are, right here, right now, today? Feet together. Inhale your right leg right up high. Keep your right heel in line with your hip and find length. One more breath in. Exhale, hug knee to nose. Shift forward. Inhale to reach it up and back. Lengthen. Exhale, knee to right tricep, hug it in. Inhale, reach it up and back, fine line. Exhale, knee to left tricep, keep it high. Inhale, reach it up and back. Exhale, hug knee to nose, shift forward, pause here. Hug your thigh towards your belly, heel towards your right hip. One more breath in. Exhale, right foot steps down. Set your feet up as though they're on two train tracks. Root down through your feet, rise to your crescent lunge. But maybe bend your back knee slightly, let your hips lower so that your hips are in line with your front knee. Keep that, press through your right heel, and then equally press through your left heel. Charge it back behind you. Hug your thighs towards each other, deep full inhale. Exhale, cactus arms, elbows drop down and back. Inhale, arms reach up, fine length. Exhale, cactus arms open. Good, inhale, arms reach up. On this exhale, warrior two, back heel spins down, arms open wide. So you'll probably need to shift your feet around a little. Find your alignment though, front heel bisects the back arch. 
or is in line with the back heel. What feels better for you? Back foot's either parallel to the back of the mat or toes pointed slightly forward. Notice your back hip, if it's jutting forward, I want you to draw it back in line with your front hip and knee. Good, on an inhale, right arm reaches up and back, reverse warrior. Exhale back to warrior two. Good, inhale to reverse your warrior, right arm reaches up and back. Exhale to side angle, take right forearm to your thigh. Left hand to your hip to start. Often I see people sink into this elbow, the shoulder. I want you to press into the elbow, lift out of the shoulder. Maybe even hover your arm in front of your thigh. Let it press away. Draw your left shoulder back. Good, maybe left arm reaches straight up. Maybe left arm reaches forward. Palm towards the ground. Gaze slightly up, lengthen your heart. Keep the length of both side bodies. Deep, full breath in. Root through your feet on your breath out. Good, inhale, come all the way back. Reverse warrior, deep breath in. Exhale, hands all the way to the mat, runner's lunge. Pause here, breath in. Exhale, step it back, high plank. Press through your palms, thighs up, and inhale. Exhale, lower halfway. Inhale, back up. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg reaches up and back. Heels in line with the hip. Deep inhale, to find all the length through your spine. And then exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, reach it up and back. Exhale, knee to left tricep. Inhale, reach it up and back. Exhale, knee to right tricep. Keep your hips center and high. Inhale, reach it up and back. Exhale, knee to nose. Pause here. Hug your thigh towards your belly. Heel towards your hip. Shoulders over your wrist. One more breath in. Exhale, set it down. Find your foundation. Hips level, then root down. Rise up, crescent lunge. Notice your breath, your heart rate. Bring back to mind your intention or what you're grateful for right now. What is it? Can you connect to it? Bend your back knee so that your hips come in line with your front knee. Keep that. Press through both heels. Engage your glutes. Low bellies in and up. Behind one. Deep breath in. Exhale, cactus arms. Elbows down and back. Heart stays lifted. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, cactus arms. Hug your low ribs in, even as your heart lifts. Inhale, arms reach up. And then warrior two, back heel spins down. Find your alignment. Front heel, biceps, the back arch. Notice the back hip. If it's jutting forward, draw it back. Press through your feet. Hug your shins in. Deep full breath. Flip your front palm. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Left arm reaches up and back. Exhale, back to warrior two. Good, right hand can slide down or come behind the back. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, this side angle. Again, finding forearm to your thigh or maybe hover it. Notice your front knee right over the ankle. Press down through your feet, hug your shins in. Again, maybe right hand stays at the hip, maybe that reverse warrior felt better. Maybe right arm to the sky or right arm forward. Keep your spine long. Good, one more breath in to reverse your warrior left arms up and back. Exhale, hands all the way to the mat, runner's lunge. Pause for a breath in here, press through your palms. Exhale, step it back to a high plank. Inhale here. Exhale, just halfway, chaturanga, elbows reach back. From here, inhale for your up dog. Press through the tops of your feet, heart reaches up, shoulders draw back. Imagine you can drag your palms backwards. One more breath in. Exhale, make your way to down dog. Hips reach up and back. Deep, full breath in. Complete breath out. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale on the tiptoes, gaze forward. Exhale to step or float to the top. Forward fold. I'm going to turn to you, inhale halfway, left hands to shins or the mat, heart reaches forward. Exhale to fold. Reach out through your feet, inhale, rise all the way to standing. 
Arms stretch up overhead, maybe palm touch, maybe gaze up. Exhale, hands and intention to heart center. Down through your feet. All right, notice your right foot, root it down. Find the heel and the ball of your foot. Toes spread wide, lift your left knee, left high knee. Left foot is active, heart's lifted. Good, then begin to make some circles with the hip, knee reaches back and around, slow and controlled. Find a drishti in yoga. We talk about drishtis, a point out in front of you, point of focus, some place that's not moving, not too distracting, just soften your gaze there. For extra challenge, maybe close your eyes. Good, find your figure four. Ankle rests on top of the thigh, and then you're gonna reach your sit bones back behind you. Actively reach your left knee away from you. Good, left foot is active, protecting the knee. Draw your lower belly in, reach your tailbone back. Good, option here, you can come all the way down, hands to the ground or a block, whatever works best for you. For a hip opener, take the ball of your foot to the inside of your right bicep. Press them into each other. So you, the ball of your left foot presses the right bicep, right bicep presses the foot. Reach your sit bones back. Deep full breaths. Good, with control, you're gonna rise up just halfway. Take your elbows to your shin, palms come forward towards the sky. Let the resistance of your elbows and your shin reach your heart forward, shoulders back. One more breath in. With control on your exhale, grab your shin, bring it up to your thigh for tree. Foot to the inside of your thigh. Hands can start at your hips. Find level hips. So there's a tendency sometimes to jack one hip up. I want you to feel for your own level hips. Foot can stay here where I have it on the inside of your thigh. Maybe down on the inside of your calf. Or if a kickstand's working better for you today, that's perfect too. Whatever your left foot is touching, I want you to hug them towards each other. Lift your heart. Again, feeling for that levelness in the hips. Maybe take your arms up, express yourself. What do you need? What are you grateful for? Connect to it here, let it be embodied in this pose. So one more breath in. Hands the heart, release the foot on your breath out. Maybe wiggle that out, bounce it out a little bit. And we'll do the other side. Good, so starting with your left foot, root it down. Right foot is active, right high knee. Good, hands at your hips or heart center, whatever's more grounding, balancing for you. And then begin to make those slow and controlled circles at the knee. Notice how much mobility, how much movement you actually have without holding onto your leg. What can you create with the activation of your muscles? Good, a few more breaths here again. Connecting to that drishti, point out in front of you that's not moving. And then your figure four, right ankle on top of the thigh. Right foot stays active to protect the knee. As you sit your hips down and back, like chair pose. Mm -hmm. Feel for your hips reaching back evenly. So often one foot, one hip will reach back more. I want you to find level. Maybe again, hands to hips to find that. Reaching the right knee away from you. Low bellies in, sit the hips a little lower. Good. Soften your breath. You can stay right here or maybe take hands down to the floor. Again, searching for that hip opener. Ball of your foot to the inside of your bicep. Let your bicep and your foot resist each other as you reach back through your tailbone, reaching evenly back through both hips. Deep full breath. Continue to press strong through your left heel to the, the foot that supports you that you're standing on. Deep full breaths. Good, with control, elbows to your shin. They resist each other as your heart reaches forward. Lengthen your spine. 
deep breath in. With your exhale, you'll grab your foot as you rise up, bring it to tree. And then again, you can start down here at your kickstand, foot to the inner ankle, knee drawing wide. Use your right glute to engage and reach the knee wide. Maybe foot to your inner calf. The important part is to avoid pressing on the knee. Knees over time don't like to continue to be pushed side to side. So it may not hurt you today, but if you do it enough, your knee probably won't be grateful. So press the foot wherever it is, thigh, ankle, or calf. Hands to your hips again to find that evenness through the hips, hearts lifted. Deep, full breath. Maybe express yourself however it feels right, arms up. Maybe reach behind you, hands reach for opposite elbows, hearts lifted. Or maybe reverse prayer, that can feel nice sometimes, hands right behind the heart. Three more breaths here, find stillness. But just notice, become aware, what's your body, what's your mind doing in response to this shape? Can you accept whatever is unconditionally? Just be present. Knowing all things are impermanent, all things will pass. One more breath in. Your hands are released, hands back to heart center. One more breath in. And exhale, foot down. Wiggle it out a little. We'll come back to the top of your mat if you're not there. Inhale, arms reach up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale for your halfway lift, heart reaches forward. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to a high plank. You can pause here, go straight to down dog, take a child's pose, or flow through your vinyasa. Either come to chaturanga, into your up dog, or coming all the way down to your belly for cobra, making your way to down dog from there. Deep full breath in. And a full breath out. And now on the tiptoes, gaze forward. Exhale and step or float all the way through to a seat. Lie down onto your back. Take one block with you. Setting up for bridge pose, a little bit of back bending. So your feet will be hip width distance on the floor. Make your heels as close to your hips as you need to touch your fingertips to your heels, just barely. Place your block between your knees or your thighs, however you can hold the block to keep your thighs mostly in line, hip width distance. Hug the block between your thighs or knees. Snuggle your shoulder blades underneath your chest. Press actively through the outer arms. Inhale to lift your hips, press through your heels. Snuggle your shoulder blades even more under your chest. Take your hands and reach for the outside of your mat. Imagine you could pull the mat in two and then lift your hips a little higher, lift your heart. Keep your neck nice and long. One more breath in. With your exhale, gently release. Lower one vertebrae at a time, back down. Good, one more round. Inhale, press through your feet, lift your hips. Hug the block between your thighs. Hands can either stay at the mat or interlace your hands at your low back this time. Press down through the outer edges of your arms and your fists. Deep breath in. Complete breath out. One more breath in. And exhale to gently release. Go remove the block. Take your feet as wide as your mat. Gently windshield wiper your knees side to side. Option to take your arms like goalpost arms. Once again, we did this very in the beginning of class. Notice what's the same and what's different since the last time you were here. Really good. Take your knees into center. Hug your knees in towards your chest. Rock forward and back along the length of your spine. Do that three times. And you'll rock your way up to a seat. See if when you come up, you can balance just for a quick moment in a form of both. Good, and then send your legs out. 
Right leg out, left leg in for seated tree or Janu Shirasasana. Feel your sit bones on the mat. Press your left foot into your right thigh. Right foot's nice and active. Inhale, reach your arms up, long spine. Twist towards your toes and exhale as you reach forward from your heart. Hands reach for outer calves, ankle, or the ball of your foot. Head rest down. And so whatever your hands are holding, you're gonna draw back as they press away. Lengthening through your spine. Breath is nice and deep. Good, and then let go of the effort. Soften here. Hands release to the ground. Allow the roll in your spine to appear, the nice rounding. Breathe into your back body. Good, then palms come to the floor. Begin to press the ground away to lift your chest. And we'll switch sides, left leg out, right leg in. Again, press right foot into your left thigh. Left foot's nice and active. Sit bones are rooted down. Inhale, arms reach up. Twist towards your toes, and as you exhale, reach forward from your heart. Full body's active. Hands reach for outer calves, ankle, or ball of your foot. Whatever you have, you're going to draw back on as the leg reaches away. Soften your forehead down. Deepen your breath to support you. Connect to your intention. What do you need and can you allow yourself to receive that right here with your breath? Good, and then gently let go of the effort. Hands fall down to the ground, roll, comes into the spine, rounding, softening. Good, and then palms press the ground away. That's the effort to lift you up. Take the soles of your feet together. Hug them in towards you. Heart stays lifted. Baddha Konasana, butterfly pose. You can sit upright here, rooting down through your sit bones, reaching up through the crown of your head, knees wide. Or maybe on an exhale, you draw your forehead forward, elbows pressed to the inner thighs. Soles of feet pressed together. Deep, full, complete breath. Your next inhale will lift your chest. Extend your legs out in front of you. Hands to your heart. Begin to roll with control. One vertebrae at a time, all the way back down onto your back. Hug your right knee in towards your chest, give it a little squeeze, deep breath in. And exhale the supine twist, let your knee cross your body towards the floor, shoulders stay on the mat, arms open wide, nice long spine. Maybe gaze to the right, two breaths. And then inhale to bring your right knee back. Left knee hugs in, right leg extends. Give it a little hug, squeeze it in, maybe a little rock side to side. And then supine twist to the side. Knee crosses the body towards the floor. Spine stays nice and long. Reach down through your left hip especially. Maybe gaze to the left. Two breaths. Reconnect. How's your body? How's your mind? No judgment, just awareness. Notice. And then gently hug your knee back to center. Give yourself a big hug and a deep breath in. 
With a big exhale, extend your body long. Take up all the space you need on your mat and beyond. Give yourself a few breaths to truly get comfortable here. Shoulders away from your ears. Maybe arms by your sides or maybe one hand to heart and belly once more. What do you need? What are you grateful for? Can you see, sense, and feel that right here, right now? Let your jaw be soft. Take one last deep, full breath in, your biggest breath of the day. Sigh it out. And feel your body melt down to the earth. Rest here. Shavasana. Welcome to stay right here as long as you like, as long as you need. If you're ready to wake up from your rest, begin to gently deepen your breath. Invite some subtle movements to your fingers and your toes. your wrists and ankles gently beginning to wake the body back up. And stretch your arms up overhead, take a full body stretch, fingers to toes. Let your hands rest back at heart center. Connect with your gratitudes. Again, take your time as long as you need to wake up and come back into the world. Reach out if you need anything. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste. I'll see you soon.